All right, we just pulled it to the bank. I gotta get the lady one more security deposit before we actually officially end the crib. And because I know y'all gonna ask it down below, I didn't buy the house, I'm renting it out. The reason I'm gonna rent right now is because I got a lot of things going on and I'm always ready for the next big step. So I don't wanna be tied anywhere to a mortgage or an investment or be too deep into something that I don't need to be into. I'd rather just get the space I need for now, get the peace of mind, work what I need to do on this year, and then next year, you never know, I could be in Calabasas living in the hills. So that's how I always imagine things. So I never wanna just get too deep if I don't have to. Again, I wanna make sure that my business is ready to invest in the houses, invest in the real estate the proper way. I don't wanna use my money. I don't wanna use my cash. I wanna make sure I'm using other people's money and I'm using my credit to its advantage. And although I could go and buy a house, I know there's gonna be people in the comments saying, Oh, you're wasting money renting. You might as well just buy for the same price you could rent. You could buy, have a cheaper mortgage, this, that, and the third. Like, well, I get it. I'm all hip to it, man. But I want to be more cash positive for the investments that we got coming up this year in terms of my business, in terms of other business ventures. And I'd rather be ready to set those in place to make me more money rather than spending it on a crib right now when I ain't got no kids. I got nothing but my dogs and my girl. I don't need as much as I need if I would have a family. So for me just to rent something out, be able to leave when I want to, be able to have the space I need, I mean, that's all I can ask for right now. It's all about doing things right. So in business, you really gotta show everything through taxes. So I would say that I had a really good year the past two years, and I'm gonna wait till I really get my stuff right with, with, with Uncle Sam before I go ahead and, and try to settle for what I can get now. I feel like if I buy something now from where I'm at, I'll get something good, but I feel like if I wait two years or two or three more years, I'll be in a better position than I was now. And the things that I want now that I know I can hold off for, I'll have 10 times better if I just wait a little bit for it. So I'm gonna wait and I'm probably gonna, you know, I, I feel like my first crib, I would wanna build my own crib. I would want like to design my own joint as, you know, nice as I wanted to be, as creative as I wanted to be. But I do wanna have investment property for sure. So throughout the year, throughout next year, y'all probably see me get into some real estate. So that's always on the list of goals to do, but Again, those are things that I really want to be living in, but I could definitely get those up and going with the team. Man, damn. You can't give me a check here? No, sir, from Castillo check, you have to come in on the mother's clothes. Which one's the open one? What is it called? All right. Okay. Sat in that whole line, bro, for that man to tell me that I got to go to another Bank of America, and I got to meet this lady at 12. This shit don't even make no sense. Come on, baby, let's get it. Man, I had the oldest lady that probably works in the whole Bank of America nationwide doing my first check. That shit took forever. I wasn't even in line. I was at the, I was at the front counter. And the lady was just, I guess she was confused. I don't know. But that was my first check. I never ever wrote a check for somebody. You know, it's digital now, so I don't gotta do things like that. But it felt good to write my first check through my business. So. When I got to Atlanta, I drank more because I felt like I'm in the A now. Like, I got it, like, I'm cool, I'm a grown man, like, I got my own spot type shit. Yeah. So I was drinking, like, and then I turned 21, so I was like, oh, I'm, I'm good. I, I've done I've done like 10 times more than what I've done from high school. So I felt like I earned it to, like, drink a little bit and, like, you know, relax. So I was like, as long as I can manage it. But then, like, when I heard you say that more peace of mind, more control of your mind, yeah. then, then I got it. And now, now, like, a couple months, like, a year into Atlanta, I'm like, damn, like, now I'm thinking like 10 times bigger like from here now, so I feel like I ain't earned it again. So now I'm like, now I'm done with it. So like, shit, so we 10 times bigger than where we are now, and I might like have a drink or so, but. I like that. I, I now, now, cause it felt like I earned it when I came to Atlanta, but now my mind is like, it's always going higher, so now I'm like, damn, I gotta earn it, I, I, ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't know where I wanna be at. You wanna see the new spot, you want like, just more space does something to you. Like you'll, you'll wake up and be like so clear on what, what the big picture is and what you're supposed to do. I know like two months down the road when we got the, the shit set up down there, we in full motion. We got the product rolling, we got the desk set up. I got the podcast, the, the game streaming thing. We got, you know, the couch and TV, like it's gonna feel good. Yeah. I can't wait, that's all, that's all I'm looking for. All right, just pulled up the Petco. Dogs ain't got no food. Let me go ahead and grab some food. Might get a new pet while we're here. Turn into huskies. That's what my dog is gonna look like if I feed him this food. <laughs> this is what the packaging is telling me. If I feed my dog this, he's gonna come out looking like that. I used to have a pet mouse. His name was Felix. And Felix? yeah, Felix. I thought I, I thought I named him Phoenix. I thought it was like the dude's name on Gears of War, the game. I used to play this game. So I tried to name my mouse after the dude in, in Gears of War. I forgot what the hell his name was. But uh, my mouse died. It, it was, I don't know, I found it when it was under its wheel. Oh. 
the running wheel and it was under it. I don't know if it died from that or something, but. You gotta be a different breed to get a spider as a pet. To come here and buy a tarantula for $100 and call that your pet? Bro, I'm not touching that ever. I don't wanna offend like tarantula owners. I know they're- There's a lot. They're cool, cool to look at, but like, bro, I'm not like, bro, what if that gets out the cage? Like, what if, oh, what if that shit is in your room? Nemo, your pa's looking for you. Make sure you call your dad. I'm getting this for the dogs. It's like a spider duck. It's only $16. I told him about the, that we went to go see the cloud couch. How soon can we pick it up? Tomorrow. Holy shit, let's get it. It's what? We can pick this portion up literally tomorrow. Let's go. Where is it? What is it? Where, how far is that? Uh, like 45 minutes with no traffic. We can get a U-Haul. Have this in the crib. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, thank you for calling the Vic Lens Online Academy. My name is Katie. How may I help you today? <laughs> oh, it appears you're having some online trouble logging into your accounts. Okay, let me go ahead and check your phone. I'm pull you up right now. You get one more while I place you on hold. All right. Yeah. Is that for your keyboard too? That's for the glizzy. <laughs> <laughs> no shit going down. What's up? <laughs> if you don't love it, then don't buy it. Well, I mean, it's like, how do I love a desk? I don't know. Like. <laughs> <laughs> It's not like I'm buying, like, do I love this couch? I mean, it's a, I'm coming here to work. Hey, look, that's how you know Katie likes me, bro. She laughs at everything I say. It's really like OD hard. That's how you know if a girl likes you or not. She's gonna laugh at anything you say. And she's cracking at whatever you say, even when it's not funny, she likes you. She's like fucking dying, like, Katie, what's for dinner? <laughs> she's so silly, dinner. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. What do you want to eat? <laughs> what do you want to eat? Stop. Oh my gosh. Okay, grab a fucking desk. No. 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 Katie, you're folding. Okay, okay, okay. If she ain't, she, if she ain't giving you a piggyback ride, a whole pool's burn. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got a good one. She ain't for you. She ain't for you. She ain't gonna give you a piggyback ride, a whole pool's. Sam went ahead and caught the car. We're gonna show you how to fry that fish later. Real Southern Deluxe right here, baby. Only a Southern King can fry fish like this. So look at the filet. <laughs> Slap your mama, Cajun. Nah, nah, my white song is Jay Z featuring Lincoln Park. Oh, that's a white son of Jay-Z, yo. That's my favorite book. Bro, that's, bro, I feel like Linkin Park really rolled that. Linkin Park's Like, they ham. smashed that song. Like, really. Linkin Park's ham. They OD. They OD. So with Katie, though. Bro, Katie Perry's tough. <laughs> like, Katie Perry's cool. She harder than no, Taylor Swift? No, she's not Swift? cool. She's tough. Is she, is she harder than Taylor Swift? I don't know any Taylor Swift songs. Taylor Swift do numbers. She might. But I don't know any. You know what I'm saying? She not in the culture. Respect. You know what I mean? Katy Perry? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Everybody bro. knows some Katy Perry. Come on, what am I thinking, yo? Yeah. You're right. You ever seen that video of YNW Melly singing Katy Perry? He said that's one of his ah. favorite songs. Bro, Katy Perry. I ain't Perry. know she was like that. I ain't gonna lie. Bro, listen to her, bro. You be, a, you be in your feelings. What's <laughs> Katy Perry's biggest banger? Oh, you know the name. Nah, I don't know. I don't know a lot of Katy Perry songs, guys. <laughs> don't, don't. Call oh, you me got that shit. You know the whole title. But the fireworks? Everybody knows fireworks. Oh, yeah, that's the firework right there, right? Yeah. She performed that yesterday. It's crazy. You know I mean? 1.2B. Yeah, yeah, she's big, bro. She's huge. She got a B on there. She's huge. She's I don't think huge. I've ever seen a B on YouTube. What in your daily routine calls you to throw No, it's, it's not a daily. It's not a silly uh, thing, you know what I mean? But it's yeah. like at like, you know, I want to say like 7, 30, 8, you know, you're by yourself, chilling. Okay. You know what you I'm saying? You ain't with the fam with this song. No, no, no. Okay. You're not with anybody. So you dolo. Yeah, dolo. You don't want to listen to this around nobody. Nah. Respect. Yeah, respect. Respect. Yeah. Because respect. Respect. then they'll judge you. 7 right? to 8, by yourself, chilling, day is almost done, what you doing? Yeah, yeah, and you just want to like, you know, you're tired of the, the gangster, shoot me, I shoot you. Respect. You know what I mean? And you and get want, old. Yeah. Get old. And you just want something that makes you feel something. Katy Perry. That's valid. Yeah. That's valid. I'm taking notes. Yeah. I'm taking notes. Maybe 7.30 today you could, you know. I'll see what I got going on 7.30. <laughs> I'll let you know what, I, what, I, what may happen.